Hey guys, welcome to this first look of Trains 3 on Android. Now, things to bear in mind, it's a beta release. It's playing on a mid-range phone, came out, which came out in 2018, and the graphics are meant for a mobile, not a computer, so they're gonna be blown up if you're watching there. I would say, go watch it on a mobile. First, we're gonna look at the menus. It's what you see, it's very Trains 19-esque, isn't it? So on top left, um, well, this is the drop down menu. You can filter it to what you want. Now that white dot is my key presses on the screen, you'll see. So a quick scroll across. This is, I suppose, all. Go to trains first. That's what you get. Now, these are all in game. So these are the locomotives. Now, right now, you can only drive a train. There is no route building or such uh, into the game. Now, I believe it's in the roadmap, but uh, it's not there right now. Now, going back to my phone, it is a mid-range 2018 phone, which means it's going to be low range now. The FPS, when we get onto the actual gameplay, is going to be low. Um, I'm not a a mobile gamer really so I've never bothered to uh, get a, a proper gaming phone now but what it will do is give you an idea of what your your phone might or might not look like uh, playing this game now if you look at the bottom left we'll look at that in a second but there is a, a button called content store um, you can buy, you will be able to buy more rolling stock. At the moment, I think it's just trains in there. And uh, routes and sessions. Now, I do, don't know if you buy a route, if the sessions come with it. So if we click on each of these routes, and then click on view session. Now, this is the uh, tutorial ones. You can see the stars I've got down there. They're quite easy. We're going to do one of these right at the end. We'll do one I've already done because I already I, I know what it's like and I know it's viewable on a, on a video. But we do, we'll look at some others as well before that. So these are the different sessions within these, obviously there's a nice steam engine there. Now, so this is the uh, content, so uh, this is what you can actually purchase. This is obviously in pounds because I'm in the UK. Now I don't know how true this is, but I read that uh, the game will cost about four dollars. Don't know what it's going to be in pounds, probably it'll be four pounds now and then, if that's true. That's again probably subject to change. I don't know how true that is. Now, interestingly, as I say, you, there is a route to purchase as well, but it doesn't show here. At the bottom, you'll see three buttons store, purchase, and updates. So if you purchase something, it will show in the purchase. Hov if some updates, obviously, it'll be in the updates button. Now, if you look at the top, it says source purchased. We look at premium content. Now, so this is the extra route when it loads up and it's a British route. Right now, nothing shows up under it. So I open that up on the sessions and then it does, there you go. So these will be the sessions. Again, I don't know if, if you purchase the route, the sessions will come along with it, we'll have to see. Tutorials are, because I'm looking at just pre premium at the moment, so we have to get off this, yes, and the middle button. Come on, come on, you know you're going to do it. I was, I was thinking then, yes, we go, so, all, oh, there we go, yeah, so. If there was any tutorials in any of the routes, it would show up here, but the moment it's just on that one route, the tutorials, I believe. Now, once again, the set, we're going to actually uh, start looking right now, in fact, at uh, uh, one of the uh, a couple of the routes, the FPS is going to be terrible. Most likely, that's my phone. There's a much longer loading time there as well. Um, I've cut it on the video. You 
you'll get something very similar to this on each of the, uh, your, your instructions, basically. You've got the simple controls to the left. If you press bottom, bottom left, you'll see the speed. You click on that, you get the, uh, the root. Top left button, you see this, and you've got various controls, MPH, KPH, uh, horns, and things like that. You can press and the bell and all that sort of stuff. Top right, are we going to press that in a second? No, I'm still playing with, with the buttons on the left at the moment. So top right, the top button is your menu, takes you back to the menu. Then we've got simple controls, advanced controls below that. Below that, for some reason, there's a button to get into the cab. You can pinch and actually get into the cab as well. Um, if you're watching a train go, it's, the commands will show at the bottom if you press this button. I've got the drivers here. Now the next button I can't show you here. I think I'll press it. I'll press it twice. But we have to get out of the cab to show you this one. This is basically where you detach carriages and locos or all that sort of thing. You're, you're, if you've played trains, any of the other games, you'll feel very familiar with this. So again, they're my two fingers sort of pilling, pinching and pulling. Right, so we press that button again in a second. And there you go. And then you'd click on the red and you can uncouple. You press it again, that button, it goes away. As you can see, it's a 3.18 uh, 3 kilometers. Because I've left it on kilometers, and we'll change it to miles later on. Um, it's very similar, isn't it, to the, just the uh, desktop trains game. The graphics are obviously a lot simpler. Um, we don't have the turf effects, for instance. We don't have the long grass and things like that. I would like to see graphic options, I think. Um, right now, because of the FPS is so low on this phone, I don't think... Because I think they're trying to determine... One of the questions when they... Uh, when I requested to be on, on the beta program was what phone what's the score, how good is it, that sort of thing. Um, I, I would don't believe this phone would meet the minimum. So this phone is July 2018. Um, as I say, it was a gaming phone uh, on a play, but it was a mid-range phone, really. Three years later, it's a low-range low phone, low-end phone. Notice the controls now. Everything, because I haven't touched the screen for a while, everything goes dark. Now, the FPS doesn't seem too bad at the moment. We've only got a 19 kilometers now. What's that, 10 miles now, something like that? Oh, yeah, so if you click away from the uh, train, you can get off of it. Now we're going to notice, as we get the speed up, we're going to let the FPS get worse and worse. So out we go again. It's nice little touches on the left. There's a bridge or what's left of it or they're going to build it. So if you hold onto the land somewhere, that button will come up, detach, and you can do this. You can go into the front, look around. I'm not very good at turning the camera though when you're not attached to the train. I'd like a little joy pad or something on, on screen, I think, to actually turn you around. Once you've uh, clicked on the train, you just one hold on the screen once, one finger, and move the move your finger across left and right, like most games. And as you can see, I've moved it left, and it's going left. It's fairly simple. So the, the control on the right, we're using the simple. Now you'll notice my finger is below it. If you tap on there a few times, it's, it gives you a very fine control of it, rather than actually click on the control and uh, drag. Now we put it on to advanced controls. I'll, I'll lower it down. Now the reason I wanted to do this at this point is to test, see if we can actually control the train directly. But I can't interact with it. Maybe the, that will be on there in the future game. Maybe it's just this, this particular cap. I thought I'd read that you'd be able to do this. 
As you can see, I tried pu pulling and pinching and uh, just pressing on it. It didn't seem to be able to. Doesn't mean it's not in there, just means I couldn't do it. So next we have a look at the, the steam train. Again, if you're watching this on a, a PC, on a large screen, I do urge you to look on a mobile if you're thinking of getting the game. Um, it looks so much different. And also I'm using um, some software to actually pull the, uh, the image onto the computer here so I can record it. There is gonna be some de degrading of the image while doing that. I've uh, got the bit rate quite high, but it does look better on the mobile. What I will say is if you look at the in between the wheels on this engine, it's sort of um, like a fencing effect. Now that is, you, that is visible on the mobile as well. Now, I could have put the FPS, the FPS on here because they have a, got a debug, a debug menu, but I've decided not to do that. Um, I think it's unfair to the game for two reasons. Number one, it's a beta, and so there's still a, a fair bit of work to go on. This is a closed beta, so it's not... Uh, I believe the roadmap is then to put on to open beta, then it will be released. Um, my mobile is a game. I've said it three times now. This is an old mobile. So, you probably will come across other videos where it's looking a lot better than this. You'll notice the dials are working. Um, they seem to be. I'm trying to get off here. Probably too much of my top menu of my phone then came down. Even though the FPS is quite low, it, the, the game still feels zippy. You don't have any, it's not overloading the CPU or anything. I think it's the GPU which is probably, which is not running that well on the, on the phone. There's no slowdown in that method. Again, press bottom left, we remove the speed. I was just looking at the track. What, and that's got your route. Again, you'll know that if you, uh, if you play the desktop game. There's not the screen real estate to show the speed, I think, and uh, the actual route. But, yes, I think some options would be good. So we can sort of switch some things off. I think that would certainly help with the game. I'm going to suggest that. Um, I've had the beta, what, it's my third day, but again, I've been working, so I haven't had a lot of time with it. Yeah, you can see, again, with the people, if you look at the people in the, in the train there, it's the mesh, wasn't it? Um, it is visible on the mobile. We we'll take a very quick look at this one. Um, which one do we do? I think that one. It always asks you, do you want to uh, overwrite the save? Now I clicked OK now and it stopped. Now I did think it was going to crash, but it does come back. But you'll notice it goes really quickly around the sector. So I press again. Yeah, and it goes straight <laughs> very quickly around. So the phone really is struggling, especially on this one. I wouldn't be surprised, I said, that if my phone will not make the final grade, the CPU, that uh, in final release, 
I wouldn't be able to buy it. I'll leave a link in the description to my phone. Um, uh, the specs of my phone. And then you can compare that to what you've got. I was hoping the root building tools would be in here. It was actually in the questionnaire with uh, what interests you most, the actual driving or the root building. I said root building. Um, so there is the suggestion it will end up being in, but you, until the final game is out, you don't know, do you? I'm not privy to these things. I think the intention's there, but uh, we'll have to see. Now, I have played the first game on uh, trains, uh, trains on mobile. Um, the FPS was better. I think that was... Um, that looked to be based on something like Trains 12, the desktop. The GUI was much smaller on there. The, the GUI is quite nice on here, it's easy to use. Um, I haven't had any real crashes on there. There's a few little things where mesh didn't actually uh, load in. Um, I was going through a tunnel and the tunnel entrance didn't load in and the, ch the tunnel, the inner wall didn't, um, the spline didn't actually load in. One other issue with them, I closed, I paused the game, closed the, went back to the main menu on top right, and uh, it didn't close properly. Tiny little thing when you load the game up, it always loads into the previous route you were playing rather than actually the menu as well, which is a bit strange. I'd prefer it to load into this menu. You can get out of it easy enough. I think these things will be uh, um, fixed. So I was thinking at this point, which one should I show you? And I think industry, because uh, you get to do a couple of things. The first two are really too, are really too easy. The next one on for that was the tunnel, where I said the mesh didn't load in properly. But it's quite a long route, there's not much happening. The two after that I haven't done, so I don't know if they're, if they're video worthy or not. This one seems to be, do we go inside? You can click on that little, like I did there, and it gets rid of the message but until the next one comes up. I knew that this, uh, it's the second time I loaded this, so I knew that train was coming. I was trying to get rid of it so I can actually look around. Stop doing it. By accident, I put up the, uh, the map there. We can see the green signals, and um, we can see the uh, the I was going to say radius, the uh, the hill, the uh, how deep it is. <laughs> I forget the word; it doesn't matter. It would be useful actually to have the speed and that and the route on the same. Uh, the the speed's still visible, and the route's there because keep swapping back's a bit annoying, but again, it might be changed. Again, I, I do understand because uh, right now I'm looking on my PC screen while I'm talking this through with you, but it is actually on a tiny mobile screen. I think my mobile's what, 6.5 inches, something like that. Right, so we've got the wood. It's fairly simple. The game's told me to go out, so I've had a, I've done that. They're happy now. No, so we just got to drive forward.
you keep having to change this to check the signals. It's the only place to check the, the signals up front, unless you are doing it really properly, actually looking in front of you to see what the signals are doing, of course. It does the track speed and the, uh, I know it says 40 there, but on the on the route there, it's just the track speed up what it's going to be in the future. There are little boards across which you could actually look at. So you don't need to use it if you really don't want to. Possibly there's another session they might use this station, I don't know. We don't stop here. Oh, one other thing, I've had to zoom the uh, image in. Now, you'll, you'll notice this isn't uh, a 16 by 9 um, display. This, actually, this is actually the same as my mobile. But, even though I set my mobile to actually... Uh, I've got a camera on the... If you imagine the flipping this round, so the left-hand side of the screen would be the top of the screen normally when you use the mobile. There's a camera looking at you, right, which takes out part of the screen. You can have the screen to go try straight to the top or go below it. Now I've, I've set all games and everything to be straight up, so you use 100% of the screen. This game just doesn't take any notice of that. And so what you're left with is a slight bar at the, well, the mobile on the left hand side. That happens on the, on the screen as well. So probably if you've got one of those types of uh, phones which, uh, which are bits cut out for, the, uh, for a camera, you will have a bar going down. It's not giving you a choice, even if you've got the settings on your in Android to actually do it you know, full screen. So what I did 104%, so I've slightly uh, well, got rid of the uh, border. I've not skewed it in any way. It's literally 100%, 104% up and left as well. So you don't lose anything. I just thought I'd mention that as just something it's quite noticeable, there's no, it do, as I say, there are no options in this game, so there's no way to change that. It would be nice if it actually took my selection from uh, the Android menu, saying, yes, use the whole screen. On a mobile screen it doesn't make much difference, we're talking of a few millimetres, but when you actually make it as big as this, there's a massive bar on the left hand side. Right, we're nearly there. Oh, I don't think I've said it right now. That, that little hand button, bottom right hand side, that will stop the train if you press it. So we've got a green light and two ambers, and then red at the end. So we should run again to that anyway. Oh, I know we've got a train coming out. I wonder if we had it already. There it is. I think even with this FPS, it's been quite enjoyable to play. Um, I am interested to see what the uh, the route building tools, if they are putting what they're going to look like, though. That's why I'd have my fun. But by now, you can see the FPS is really trying to struggle. Maybe closing the game and actually restarting would have been a good idea. Mm. 
the version number, I've, I've put this on screen actually, I think it's 1.4 of the game. Pretty sure it's 1.4. I'll put it on the screen anyway, so somewhere. Because there probably are going to be changes between now and release. I, I, I heavily think so, I really do think so. Even on that train, as soon as we actually go round here, that triggers something. Triggered. It's triggered. Uh -huh. Yes, and uh, that one starts pushing off. It pushes off very slowly and just keeps continuing. Smartly, they've kept the uh, the trains very small because I suspect that will actually impact on FPS. More movement in the game. You don't see any moving cars or anything like that, or, or any people, or moving people. Um, that's smart. Another thing, a little thing I've noticed that you have to go right to this. It might come to zero. It won't actually notice it unless you get right the way close to it. That's why I stop it here. So even if it says zero, that you stop it, nothing happens. Didn't understand that. You can see I've just changed the uh, the switch there. Now what we're going to do is reverse into the back. And then we'll offload one. We'll offload the other. Then it's done. It's very easy. Again, it's a tutorial, isn't it? So you can see the trend on the right is still going. Now, if this game really is going to be about the four pound mark or four dollars, I reckon, then it's worth playing, it's worth buying, I think. If they do jack that price up, it depends how much you like trains, I suppose. Though, certainly, if I'm still able to put more videos out in the future. If they add the content management, the, the route building in there, I'll try and do another quick video on that, if and when that's added. Um, on release, if my phone is still able to, because I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if they removed my phone, because the FPS is very low, and they don't want uh, negative feedback. Um, yeah, I'll do another video on release, so there could be another two videos on this. But this, I'm not. This isn't a mobile channel, so I don't think it would be more than that. Now I do remember the last time I did this when I actually properly did it. I stopped. Net told me, "Yep, okay, carry on and do that." I'm pretty sure it told me then. Reverse more and do the next one. But it still says zero there. That's why I was doing it so slowly. I was thinking, am I doing this right? Have I, have I not triggered something? But it completes, it's fine. There you go, you stop it, and that's it. And somehow I got five stars. Tricky, I don't know how. But, well, this, that's it for the first look. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you press that ding-dong bell button, you know what it does. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye-zy-bye. -bye.